In this video, I'm going to go over how to apply vertex color in Maya, as well as how to use it in Substance Painter, and how to use the same vertex color on different models to quickly retexture. So right now I have a barrel and a bucket. The barrel already has color IDs and it is textured in Painter, and I have my color ID baked out. And I want to use the exact same color ID so I can swap out this model and not have to texture my bucket. It'll just automatically take the textures that I have here. I have my ambient occlusion, my dirt generator, my metal and my rust, and my wood. So in Maya, I need to apply these same vertex colors. And you can get to your vertex colors under Mesh Display, Apply Color, and the Options box. And I have the wooden boards green on my barrel, so I'll select my bucket and choose green. I have the cyan on the top and bottom of the wooden planks. So I'm going to select all of the top faces as well as all of the bottom faces and choose that same color. It is much easier if you start out choosing the default colors so you can get to them very easily. I'm going to then choose all of the metal and make that blue. This handle doesn't have anything similar on the barrel, so I can make it whatever color I want. I'll choose red. And then the top and the bottom are going to be purple. So with these, uh, with my color ID done, I want to make sure I have the same material applied to them, AI standard or standard surface one and standard surface one. Doesn't matter what kind of material it is as long as they have the exact same name. I'm going to select my bucket and go to export selection and jump into painter. And I have this all textured out. All my maps are baked out for the barrel. And what I want to do is keep this same scene, keep all of my texturing, but bring in my new model. And to do that, I can go to Edit and Project Configuration. Reimport Mesh is nice if you have the same model with the same name. It'll just reimport the same file, but I have a different uh, file. So I'm go going to go to Project Configuration, Select, and I have my bucket too. If I leave Preserve Stroke Positions on Mesh, it is not going to work because it is looking for pretty much the same model and if I did manual masking or painting on it, it is going to do its best to preserve that, those strokes and bring it to my updated model. Since I have a very different model with completely different UVs, I'm going to turn that off. If you leave it on, it's going to have an error and is not going to re-import your mesh. And once I have that, I'm going to hit OK. It's going to look really bad for a moment because it's using the masks that worked for the barrel, but they are very different for the bucket. So I'm going to open up the baking settings. I'm going to turn on and use low poly mesh as high poly because I don't have a high poly. My low poly has all the information I need. And then come down to mesh map bakers, click on ID, and make sure color source is vertex. It will default to material color, so you want to make sure it is set to vertex color. And then you can hit bake, and it'll take a few seconds for it to finish. When it's done, you can go back to painting mode, and it'll take a moment, and the textures will reapply using the correct um, color ID and map or texture bake for the bucket. The only thing that will not have any material is the handle because the barrel did not have the red color ID. And for that, you can choose any material you want. I'm going to hold down Control to apply it to one of my color IDs. And I'm going to drag it to the correct place in the layer stack, which is beneath the ambient occlusion and beneath the dirt. I also don't like how intense this height map is. So I'm going to change my base color. Uh, up here we have different channels that we can work on. I'm going to change it from base color to height. 
and just turn down the height a little bit. And just like that. So now it's looking a little bit better. That's how you swap out a model and preserve your layers. It works really well for the same model if you updated the mesh or the UVs, or if you have a completely different model that's going to have a similar texturing scheme. Uh, you can fix that very, very quickly.